Hey everybody, Nat here from Happy Healthy Women and I am here with the most lovely Anne Schnur who is a registered psychotherapist. She is part of our Toronto Central branch and we're here with Anne today. We're going to hear about all that she does uh, to serve women and, well, people. Yes. People in general. So I see people who are challenged with various emotions, usually mm -hmm. depression and anxiety are the go-tos. Mm -hmm. But I also work with chronic illness because they found that there is a link between emotions and illness. Not that it's the full picture, but it is definitely an element to it. You know, people could be having um, stomach and indigestion problems, problems with sleeping, um, conflicts. Um, those are all indicators mm -hmm. of um, different types of distress going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it can be habitual, mm -hmm. and the person's not quite aware until it really becomes a heightened state. Dreams are a focal point of the work that I do. It really shows where a person is at and some of the challenges that they're having on the unconscious level that they aren't necessarily conscious of. One client I had had a dream of um, a whole new wardrobe and old shoes. And so I said to the person, I said, well, you know, you're being clothed in, in newness and, in, and you can see that in the development of um, your relationships and uh, your work environment, but you're still in old shoes and so there's still a bit more work to do. Often the dreams coming into therapy are the most important ones. Mm. So when I start to see a client I will often say record your dreams. And talk to us about you know when should people decide to come and see you? Usually if you have a sustained feeling for a prolonged period of time. So for clinical depression, you know, after a two to three week period, if you've had the same down feeling that isn't changing, you should get in to see your doctor, uh, look to uh, a therapist, um, start to begin to address it before it becomes chronic, really chronic. I had um, a former client contact me and they had stage four for bladder cancer mm. and were very terrified. And I worked with them. They did um, regular um, allopathy medicine, Western medicine. They saw a herbalist, they saw me. They were able to become cancer free, which was wow. amazing. Now I'm not taking full credit for it, but it is important to follow your intuition that really we know how to heal ourselves mm -hmm. and we need to be able to um, allow ourselves to move in that freedom to explore every possibility. Mm -hmm. Share with us how you work with people. I draw on many techniques when I work with people. So I work with um, dreams and emotional body work, body movement, as well as CBT and other techniques, uh, writing. And so I really work with people to come into that um, more unified state of themselves so that they can move out of reaction into response and then into resolve. When we move into that space of groundedness, we're not emitting the fear senses and um, that people pick up and go, oh, there's something to be worried about here. And so the person that you're speaking with then automatically has to change how they're perceiving you, and how they're going to interact. So, and you've been a part of Happy Healthy Women for a while now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so share with us a little bit about how being a part of this community has, has helped you grow. Um, well, it's a growing relationship with you, which yeah. I've really enjoyed. Um, I started out as a Members We Love, mm -hmm. and now I'm a trailblazer. And I made the shift because I felt so supported by happy, healthy women, and I could see how I could grow my business. You bring such a beautiful energy to happy, healthy women, so I'm grateful for you to be a part of this community. And I just know you're helping so many women. <laughs> so many, well, people, but, but women in happy. Health. Yes. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you.